www.skyderectcoach.com. How to deal with the small pupil. Here's one approach using Arx hooks, but let's ask ourselves, what could be better here? So thank you for our guest surgeon for sending in this anonymous case here. You see good draping. Eye looks like it's in good position. They're making the incision, paracetamol in the main incision, perhaps putting in some anesthetic. Again, I see some sneaky back there, which we didn't want to break. So yeah, going there gently to break the sneaky, and oftentimes there's a membrane that you can peel off there at the pupil margin. But let's take a look here. Maybe we'll get a little bit more magnification. So, okay, make an extra pairs and ECs getting ready for iris hooks. Another hint here for making the pairs for iris hooks, you could just use a needle and also angle them downward. Don't make them like parallel to the iris, but angle them a little bit towards the center of the lens nucleus. And that kind of gets them in a better orientation for that. Now, let's see here. We got a chopper type or hook instrument going in there, maybe to break some sneaky A. And then, could, let's see, all right, get some hooks in perhaps. Get the hooks in here. And you can... Put it part way, yep. I like to get all the hooks in and then slowly start tighten, tightening them up a little bit. Yep, you can just do initial placement. I like that, good idea. Initial placement here and then and then we can go back around again and, and expand the pupil a little bit more if we need to. So here's another hook going in. That looks reasonable. Yeah, you can see, look at that. And this, the, the patient superior, yeah, there's a membrane there. You can exactly grab that, I like it. And you just do a membrane rexus. Kind of keep going around, keep going... But tear it round like a Rexus. Don't just yank it. Nah, see, I don't want to leave all that stuff there. I think you should get that off. I think it'll make your surgery a lot easier. There's no point in keeping that inflammatory membrane or scarred membrane or whatever it is. Those, those got to go. Those got to go. So I want to get the forces back in the eye before you even do your Rexus and get those things peeled off. It'll also help expand the pupil. Sometimes you have a fibrotic band that's kind of a film that's even blocking your full expansion of the pupil here. And then uh, there we go. But yeah, don't leave those little straggly things there. Let's get those out. More viscoelastic. And here you may want to put another iris hook there superiorly. I think most of these iris hook trays come with five uh, hooks. So you feel free to use the fifth hook too. Here's getting that rexus done. Good job, by the way. Obviously a very talented surgeon. And so let's see, getting that rexus done. Looks pretty good. Get that moving around. All righty. And now be a little high, do a little higher dissection. So important to figure out, well, why did the patient have a small pupil? Was there a prior uveitis history? That's important. That could predispose the patient to more issues intra-op. Is, uh, all right, here, phago probe going in the eye. Let's just cut right to it. Chopper in the other hand. I like the move already. Are we just going to chop right in the middle? Chopper going around. Yep, look at that. That's a nice looking chop. Fantastic. Obviously, we sped the video up for at least two times normal speed, maybe a little bit more. And then chop this thing up and remove it nice and easy. So good technique here. Eyes, uh cooperating very nicely here and get these pieces down and then in here at the end once you get the eye well in the eye i like to take out the hooks after the eye wells in the bag and the eye still full of viscoelastic to me that's like the ideal time to take the hooks out and so again taking these pieces out nice and easy and chop 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 is the name of the game here so very nicely done. But I think the, my main uh, point of advice for you is that membrane that you peeled off from the pupil margin, yeah, stick with it. Put a little more effort in. Really peel all that off. There's no sense of leaving it behind. You'll actually expand the pupil a lot better if you just spend a little more time peeling that membrane off. And then, hey, let's talk about retinarounds.com, our favorite sister channel, our only sister channel. Amazing material. So much stuff you're going to learn. You're going to really appreciate it, and you'll thank me later. So now here's the cortex removal, cleaning that up. Otherwise, I think it's a great case. So yeah, that's my big one bit of advice there. Maybe a, a fifth iris hook sometimes is helpful, but this surgeon's doing a great job. Look at that rexus too, beautiful rexus. And now let's get the eye in the capsular bag. Deliver, deliver, deliver. All righty, and now let's take the hooks out. This is the, my favorite point of taking them out. So loosen them up and then just give them a little tug and they'll come right out. You can bring the pupil down, but I don't think you're going to get the pupil down unless you get the hooks out first. Yeah, so I like to get the hooks out while the eye still has viscoelastic in it. So maybe that's just me, but you can take it out later as well. But look at those little membrane pieces, the little pieces of, uh, of, of pigmented tissue. Yeah, get those out of there. You don't need to leave those in the eye. They're just going to float around. They're going to end up in the patient's pupil and visual axis, and the patient's going to be annoyed, and you don't need the grief. Clean all that stuff up. So here comes the hooks. Nicely, nicely done taking these out. Don't want to lose these, by the way. Be very careful. And here's the last one. Get that out too, and that's pretty good. Check all the incisions here. Yeah, you can even use the eye probe. Aspirate the, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, beautiful. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. There's one more aspirate there on the right-hand side, though. Hello, right there, that one. All right. 
Leave your comments below. I think this certain did a fantastic job. Great work. Please consider sending your video in. We get 50 or 60 videos every week, and we'd love to feature yours, especially if it's a complication. So go to cataractcoach.com and click on the link to submit your video too.